you, I'm you, gonna be honest with you. Mama's comfortable where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> the Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. Yo, Kelly Clarkson's here. I had to go do. I had to go down to do her hair and makeup. Oh, oh how'd that go? How's it coming along? Yeah, sure. Ask the gay guy. <laughs> Yeah, ask the gay guy, can you come to our hair and makeup? I'll do everything. Oh, here she is. See, did I do a great job? She looks She fabulous. looks incredible. Oh, she looks awesome. Hi, did Kelly. such an incredible job at whatever you're talking Elvis. about. I know. No, they asked me why I wasn't here. The break started without us. Oh. Can you imagine Oops. on the Kelly Clarkson show? You were saying hi. We were talking. Can you imagine on your show, if the, the commercial ended, it's like, now back to the Kelly Clarkson show, and it's just a, an empty chair. You're like... <laughs> That's what just happened. Sort That's of. how we. That was actually our plan for season five. <laughs> our opening <laughs> was just me not being there. <laughs> well, welcome to New York. Thank you. No, literally, I live here now. I see. This I is live what here we're in loving. Montana. Yeah. We're going to talk about this. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the, the smells and the sights of New York. You, I know you, people keep telling me that, but I have like dogs and children, so you're, <laughs> used, to, you're yeah. used to fecal matter. I'm used to smells and things. <laughs> well, today is Take Your Dog to Work Day. It and, is. And you should have brought the, the hounds in. Oh Damn. my god, my dogs would have loved it. They're actually well behaved too. Yeah, I have one that yeah. is and one that isn't. Well, okay, I just said that in my brain. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, my, my mind. What? I need more coffee. Um, no, my little one. She's she's one. She's a she can be calm, but sometimes she's insane. But Henry, the five year old, is amazing. I love how you have a dog named Henry. I have a cat named Fred. We have like people names for our and like old man names. Yeah, I love it. Yes, <laughs> Gandhi. Yes. Didn't you used to have some sort of amphibian or something? What? What? Did I did. You? I had an uh, a chameleon. I was going to say Kush. Yeah. Kush. Yeah. Named R. after. Marijuana. I was going to say no, Kush, no. like the OG strand. <laughs> it is an OG strand, but it's also an Indian name. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Take them both. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here. Go. And I'm Figures we'd turn it into a drug. Listen. We took a beautiful name and turned it into marijuana. I chose it for the duality. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I like a multi-purpose. <laughs> I'm happy. We're so happy that you're moving production to New York City. I am too. And, uh, that was and, my idea. Well, well I'm, you know, it's good. Maybe after a couple of years here, you can do, do another city somewhere. Just keep moving. Oh, no, no. I've had this conversation with my children. And my son actually loves this city so much. He has literally asked... Not even, he doesn't want to live in Montana full time either. He has literally asked, like, if we can live here forever. Oh, that's awesome. He loves New well, York. It is the polar opposite of Montana. Yeah. They, yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's comparatively speaking to LA, is what he was saying, too. Right. He just, we don't go out in LA because it's, we live by a highway and right by Universal where, you know what I'm saying? It's just this city, you walk around, you like experience life a little more, right. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to. You're forced to. I know, but actually, <laughs> it's great. You don't realize how much you maybe take advantage of it, but like, it's a beautiful thing to be, even walking the, is it called the High Line thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love that. It's like, beautiful. how random. And to make something that was and make it anew, that's cool. Well, yeah, yeah. It, there there was so many years before we were born even where they were tearing down beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buildings, historically yeah. significant buildings, to put up steel and glass as yeah. far as the eye can see. Yeah. And then of all people, Jackie Onassis Kennedy, or Jackie Kennedy Onassis, yeah. was the one who said, no, they were about to tear down the most beautiful, they were going to tear down Grand Central Station. What? Yes. <laughs> that sounds you know, idiotic. Not that you have enough to do when you get here, Kelly, so maybe we can join some boards and save buildings or something. Uh, I'm build no gardens. hey, I'm actually into I've I've heard a lot of work that Bet's done actually too with like parks, like in like making yeah. green spaces in the city. I love that as I've well. I've been to her her she does uh, uh Halloween every year, which Oh they, yeah, yeah, that's how she, I found out. She yeah, raises yeah. money for the parks in New York. Okay, yeah. so you want to be civically minded when you're here in New York. I love that. I like investing where I am. I guess I'm a small town kid at heart. So I like yeah, I like investing like wherever I am into right. the community yeah and I think it's important I think especially someone who literally I own a ranch so I can go escape into nature like I feel like when you're constantly you know I don't know we don't we're always like living to work you know what I'm saying like right. so it reverse that it'd be nice to like even <laughs> it balance it out would be nice you yeah. know so it's nice to have those spaces I think for mental health for just I don't know. Just it's beautiful. Like I ha I have to live near a park if I'm in this city, or I won't make it. <laughs> Funny story. I saw uh, a mom and her little boy walking down the sidewalk uh, downtown where I live down in Tribeca. Yeah. And he saw this little one tree with like a square <laughs> foot of grass around it, and he looked and said, "Lit up park." Oh. Goes, it was a square foot of grass and it was a park. Oh, okay, that's sad. I will tell you the first time I came to New York, it was, I was like a sophomore in high school and they were like, yeah, you got to go to the park. And it was just, I'm from the country. Like, 
Me so too. there is just land, right? So they were like, yes, this is our green space. And I remember they showed me Central Park and I was like, this is gorgeous. Like landscape, It's and I literally am obsessed with Frederick Law Olmsted who mm-hmm. created it and uh, conservancy in general, like with federal parks and everything. But at the time, as a teenager, you're like, this is like a, a like compared to like, <laughs> I know, like exactly. a, it's just the plot of land is very small comparatively speaking when you're from well, the no. country. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, if you live uh, on a ranch in Montana, you can go go outside on a hill and look for, as far oh. as the eye can yeah, see. Yeah, that's why it's a yeah. building. But there's a lot to learn from him. Right. He's yeah, he was great. Yeah. But but stay know, away from Dirty Elmo and you know Dirty Times Power Square. Rangers and Times Square. What does that mean? You've never seen like the characters that are dressed up like they're oh, oh. Elmo and there's like five of them with their heads off and they're dirty and they, they smell. Oh. They smell don't a cigarette. It's like a bad Santa yeah. scenario. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Elmo totally. takes his hat off and smokes. I think I actually might like that environment. <laughs> so, but, I'm one that enjoys Ted. <laughs> so we're both from North Texas. We're yes, like, I'm yes. from McKinney. You know, yeah. we're from Ranch. And yeah. you're from... Uh, I'm from Burleson and Fort Worth. Exactly. So Fort Worth isn't far from McKinney. Yeah, not at all. No. But you know what? So moving to New York for both of us is kind of a. Uh, this was when I moved here thirty years ago. Yeah. Uh, it was I, so I, young. I, well, here's why I'm glad you're here because I was the only one in New York City that used the word y'all, right? Okay, so I don't even realize how much I use it. You use it a lot. Well, you used to. I I, I might still, but I don't even. It's like something I don't even Nothing. realize. I'm especially if I'm tired. Does it get worse when you're tired? And, yeah, and I and my draw comes out. But yeah, but does it matter? I think the word y'all is so disarming and kind of great, and never, and it's ever, just easier. It's quicker. Y'all. Than you well, here, all. here they say <laughs> use. Oh, use, use guys. Use guys. Use yeah. guys. I don't mind that. All right. Yeah. Okay, so moving to New York, we got that yeah. covered. By the way, do you have any friends? Do you have friends here? I do have friends here. And actually, and it's really it's been really cool. They've been hitting me up because nobody, you know, some people just didn't know, they didn't realize. Like they're more like acquaintance friends right. that we haven't we don't hang all the time. Right. And um everybody's been hitting me up. It's been so lovely. Well, so I'm I, hitting you up. Okay. I told her I said when she comes in, I'm gonna ask her to let's go have dinner when you're here. No okay. problem. Okay. Let's go. And then go look at like really cool buildings and look, parks. Let's let's have a cocktail, <laughs> yes. look at parks. <laughs> I'm <We> can, in. <laughs> let's talk about chemistry. It actually does sound like a fun time. <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah. no, I, I'm a I'm a fun dinner time. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, chemistry. Okay. okay. So the album came out. Mm-hmm. Of course, the songs, the words, the music, sonically, this thing represents a total shift in, in a life. And mm. every artist's album and work should be reflecting. Yeah, what, just whatever that, chapter. And you let it, you yeah. definitely in this music, you're letting it, let it hang out. And you, you gave yeah. it, you, you, like, you exposed, you exposed yourself and some raw nerves in here. Yeah. The day it's released, are you, is there any, like, hmm. Wow. No, Should- I think I'm like finally it's out because I it's been like two and a half to three years since I even wrote it. So, mm-hmm. um, and and recorded most of it. So, it's it's been a minute for me, and I'm like on a the other side, you know, like I'm on a different. So Good. I almost listened to it, and I'm like, oh my god, she was sad. <laughs> like you know, <laughs> it's almost like you listen to it, and you're like, wow, you know, when you find like a journal or something from your, or somebody got you an all about me book or something from years ago, and you find it and you started it but didn't finish it. Um, anyway, I it's like that. You look at it and you're like, wow, you're like that was. That was intense, but I, I feel like that's how I cope, like how I heal. Like if I was gonna release the music or not, music is like writing is how I, kind of decipher where I'm at. And And how wonderful to be able to do that. I mean, Uh, there there are people like like us who are we have not a. What do you do? uh, play with myself? I don't know. <laughs> hey, that can be fun too. That's it all right. Is, don't knock know. it till you try it at least twice. But, but I'm not. But I'm hearing. But I'm hearing joy. I'm hearing joy in there. I'm hearing all sorts of things in there. It's not just an album you listen. No, it to. is about a full relationship. I feel like no, it does lean more towards. You know, even the angry songs, like what lies beneath that is hurt, right? So like, um, it, it it has all of it in there, like even starting with Favorite Kind of High, which is like the beginning of a relationship of that chemical reaction that you can't deny, even if you're like, I should probably not do this. Mm-hmm. But like, you're like, but it seems fun. That's it though, <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah. and the, what, is it Billy Joel? One of the lyrics, one of his songs is, you know, I, I'm giving you my heart to break yeah. here. Oh, that's it, funny. I didn't know that was... A, that's kind of it, similar it, to uh, mine uh, and mine. It's, oh. uh, it's ro- the rose. Uh, uh, rose is a rose. Billy Joel, anyone? anyone? Oh, I'm yes. going to blank. It, 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 you'll love it. Oh. Okay. No that's idea. so funny because in mine, I say, go ahead and break my heart. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> no, no, you're I'm feeling to very like, sarcastic. Please don't break my heart. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but now... But, but have it, Gosh. You know, a lot of people who go through uh, crazy shifts in life, they cut their hair, they move to New York. They <laughs> yeah. No, no. Actually, I had this idea... Long before, I was like, and it, I was one of those people right after we separated. I was like, I already did not, like, look, there are beautiful things about LA. 
even poor moving there after high school. Like, I, that is not my city to live in. To visit, to have fun in, sure. It's just not my place that I really like to live in. I never have. So work was the reason why I kind of had to live there. Right. So when this happened, I literally was talking to my therapist. I was like, I got to move. She goes, wait. The one thing I tell people if they're ever going through something like this is like, do not make a huge decision in the moment. So I waited oh. like two years before oh, wow. actually doing something. Mm, so. I'm grimacing. I'll tell you why. Why? If I was a therapist, this is why I'm not a therapist, I would say you need to make a drastic big yes. new decision. <laughs> no. I think her, right now. I think you, she did have ideas like that, but that was more of like my decision making <laughs> skills like in other areas. You, your brain may be clouded, your heart may be broken. This is the time to do something yes. really effed up. Go! Know, go yeah. do it! No, I'm, I'm excited too because I have always wanted to live here and I've always wanted to do Broadway eventually. Cool. I've always wanted to do certain things and was never capable of doing it. Well, now so. you have the whole city yeah. at your feet. Yes, and you can do whatever you want but you know and you know you've lived in new york I mean, in new york or, i've never in, lived lived here but you've been here a lot oh yeah, yeah. did you say tell me she lived here Nate. Well, she i've a, actually wait that's huh. not a complete like i sometimes when i do so much work here i will stay for like a month okay so, if so I you've do, lived here i have i've lived here for yeah i just new yorkers would be like you haven't uh, lived here yeah. you've been here a month <laughs> uh, uh, there's a really good friend of ours josh who works here he's one of our pr production gurus and he moved here from Cleveland, and we were talking about salary, stuff like that. He says, well, what do I need to make to be comfortable in New York? <laughs> and I said, let me tell you, no one's comfortable in New York. Nope. Billionaires are not comfortable mm -hmm. here. That's the whole point of the city. Oh. you got to be on your game. You, you, I'm you, going to be honest with you. Mama's comfortable where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm glad you're I, honest. I, I'm gonna be honest. Like I like I don't I don't know. I I, I will say I'm comfortable. I'm highly comfortable where I'm at. Like, give it Good. a minute. Good for yeah. you. You know why? I don't know if I could at this point in my career, like in my life, like being a single parent, having dogs, having kids, having jobs, like it's like, nah, 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 I wanna live like in a, I was very particular like where I was gonna live, by their schools, by my work, by a park, like I was, right. yeah. If All you right. ever need a nice house in New Jersey, yeah. I know a great I Yorker. actually <laughs> would love to live outside the city. Yeah. Carson actually hit me up with this amazing house near him that was up for grabs, but I was like, I just, I wanna live in the city, like I wanna, I want to experience actually living in it, it. going to my, you know, walking every day to work. It's yeah. a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. It is. It's a pain in the ass. I think no. I might be opposite. I like walks Don't and hikes. Listen to him. And, no, no, you can yeah. walk and hike, but it's, it's okay. a pain in the ass. I'm not saying it's an awful pain in the ass, but it, it can be. It's a challenge. Yeah, Talk to me the, when winter comes. Are you going to do the Jersey Shore for the summer? Like, you know, a lot of New Yorkers do. Like, you go down the shore. And no, girl, I'm in Montana. I. It's, it, it, it snows like nine months out of the year there. So it's like any time I can get there where it's, you know, you can really get some work done and have a good yeah. time. Like, yeah, I'm in Montana. Okay. I think yeah. you have the perfect balance, having a place here and then having a place in Montana. And I've been here for almost five years and it has not worn off on me at all yet. I know people are like, oh, it's terrible and it's really rough. And it is tough, but I think you're going to love it. There's so much. I feel like every day you learn something new, see something new. That's what it's my amazing. sister and I love. So we walk around too. And even my kids, like it's, I think it's pretty special, especially if you haven't ever lived in a, an environment like that. So, and honestly, I just, I want to be happy at this point. Like, and I just was unhappy where I was. So, um, it was really cool of NBC to be like, okay, we'll move you. Nice. Yeah, Stimulation. Awesome. St okay, where it's are we everywhere. going with I'm this? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was New like, York City. are we coming back to playing with yourself? <laughs> like, <what are> we... <laughs> yes. I love how, I was like, what's happening with you I, deep I, down? I'm sorry, did I say <laughs> that out loud? Stimulation, that's what this city is about. Okay, I like that. Stimulation from all different, all different facets of, of the city. I mean, yeah. from the smells, I mean, the good smells, the bad smells. The music. The food, yeah. the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and I will tell you this, nothing gets in Los Angeles that one of my observations has been the difference between the people here and the people in New York. I mean, in Los Angeles. I don't think people here care about your life. <laughs> well, well, they don't. <laughs> That's and, awesome. And, usually, and isn't that great that no one gives a crap? Yeah. I don't care about you. And they're like, but I also, got my own thing going on. Yeah. But also, I mean... They will tell you what's on their mind. There's no pretense. There's no. But I feel like facade. that's also where we're from. I feel like that's very southern. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, it depends on which. If you're from the sticks or the bricks, but yeah. But we do it in a gentile way. A, Depending on if you're from the sticks or the bricks. <laughs> Genteel is what. Yeah, because there's a bunch of us that are just like, what the hell are you right. doing? Because <laughs> like, yeah. you know, if someone does something stupid, if you're from North Texas or where we're from. You just look at them and you smile and go, oh, bless, bless your their heart. heart. Yeah. All right. Here, like, you stupid. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I kind of prefer the latter. Yeah. <laughs> you do? All yeah, because right. the first one's sneaky. You're smiling at me while being a jerk. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. It's true. Yeah. Um, okay, chemistry. Let's talk. Let, walk me through some of the songs. I want to yeah. play. And, um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to play whatever song you want to hear today. Okay. 
Uh, but I mean, I have like pieces of all these songs. Okay, well, wh- let's, let's just kind of like walk through here. For okay. A second. Uh, chemistry. You do like walking. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Idiot. Oh, you broke you broke our is equipment. It, is it my first time? <laughs> oh, it's not. Okay. This is a nice, nice. Oh, I love that. This is chemistry, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's your song. I know. You're I'm re- sorry. I just put the headphones on. <laughs> you're reco- it's your song. I mean, you recorded. I, I don't know why I could hear you all, and then I was like, oh, you might play something. I should put these on. I love that song. I know. I don't usually sing like that on a record. You know, just what completely do you mean by, soft. What do you mean? Hold on, by, like soft and breezy. Yeah, this is like Kelly Clarkson's version of Jeff Buckley. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. You know, what I'm saying it's not Jeff Buckley. I'm aware, but like it's like my version of like how that just pretty ethereal vibrato, like. Just kind of different space that I don't think people are used to hearing. It, you kind of float. You're, yeah. You, you, but it's chemistry. In a very and, sad and, way. And this, is, this <laughs> is the title for the album that you chose. Yes. Because I felt like it was, I was like, what is a word that would wrap up an entire relationship? Right? Like, I'm like, there's so many emotions and stages of grief and like whatnot. And so um, I felt like chemistry, I was like, well, that's actually kind of cool because it's, it's the beautiful part of it that it's like, it's amazing that you have felt that with someone, like you've had that kind of reaction. Like right. not everybody gets that, right? So that's amazing, but also how hard it can be. Like if you are intensely in love with someone, but it's unhealthy for you, it's not a right. great environment, you know? It is so, chemistry. Yeah. It is. All right. Uh, Either then way. Then there's magic. <gasps> it's my band's favorite. To begin, but I'd like to end with you. I want to feel like this. I can't forget you your kiss. And every time I and your voice is still, I mean, it, it's even better than ever. Better, oh, better than ever. You. I mean, I don't know if I know what I'm talking about. But well, I, this I think morning, it, it's very low. Well, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> but it, sonically, when, it, when, it, when you sing, you're just, God, what is it I saw you do the other day that blew me like, oh, you did what I Will it? Always Love You at the at oh, last, last year's ACM. Yeah, that was, I, I just, I feel like I was set up. <laughs> I was like, what? I just, well, I said yes to like doing the event because I love Dolly Parton. They were like, hey, you want to do a tribute for Dolly Parton? I'm like, who says no to that? Like, I love her and I love the ACMs and I've performed there quite a bit. So I was like, all right, let's do it. And then they were like, oh, it's I Will Always Love You. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't back out now. But like, no singer wants that task. But you wow. did it. I know, it's I like know. It's like the Star Spangled Banner. I didn't completely you mess it up. Like but the Star Spangled I mean, Banner's like, ah, that's that note. Yeah. It's the same By thing. By the way, Star Spangled Banner, Chris Stapleton. There you go. Oh. There you go. All right, uh, oh, my mistake. That's my favorite. Been my oh. mistake. Another real happy family number. <laughs> No, Brought it's, to it's, you by it, yet it's important. Sadness. It's, it's, I like it's, yeah. it. It's an important part of the of the of the story. So when you're yeah. writing something like this, and it is so raw and so real, and it Th- comes that's from actually your I only didn't write a couple. That's actually one of them. Okay. Yeah, but the reason why I chose it is maybe go where you're going. Yeah. Well, do you ever have to reach out to anybody and say, "Hey, just a heads up, this song is coming out, and you might hear things." No. So here's the thing. I didn't. I made a, a like I wrote a ton of stuff like just for me, just because I was going through something, and then I made the decision of what's been out there like talked about good or bad like what's already out there that's what I'll address there's a bunch I don't address um that, that's just for me but um and and you know because honestly it's like that song from Billy Eilish it's embarrassing like you know what I'm saying like you don't want to like something that you love and 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 person that you love and that didn't work out like that's devastating so anything that was out there already in the press and kind of was released because i out of my hands um i i referenced but anything that wasn't i i kept so oh, that's well. like a musical diary yeah kind of terrifying at but what, awesome at what <laughs> point at what point after a breakup and we've all been through them yeah at what point do you go okay so that hurt that was a fire but look at what I got out of this. That was other, I, other yeah. than beautiful children, other than great memories. Th- no, uh, I think it was really hard because it was. I was very. I think everybody you get to that broken spot. But um, I look. People think I'm so hippy dippy because I talk about it. But I wasn't. I didn't ever really take therapy before, and I don't know how I would have survived it had I not taken it because I didn't even notice things. 
you know, you grow up a certain way with a servant's heart, religiously speaking. Like, you grow up and you think, you know, I can do this or this is what this is. You never really knew what marriage was supposed to look like because you never had a real solid example. So it's like there were just so many things that were helpful in therapy, like figuring out and hearing and going, oh, that's not normal or like, or wait, what? Like, you know, so it. I don't know, that th therapy was really really helpful for me and and help me focus right off the bat like she was really amazing at going okay what I don't want you to do is is just focus on everything bad like she was like there's beautiful things like not just my children but like I'm not kidding like I until 30 years old was never in love like I never had felt that. Like the fact that I got to feel that mm -hmm. is incredible. Oh, I get, I'm getting goosebumps. No, Cause it's I, cause, incredible. Because everyone of us is thinking about past relationships that totally like crap the bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but it's so easy to dwell on the ah, when you. But yeah. There's, there's don't great, demean it down to just the one thing. Exactly. There's yeah. great things that come out of this. All right. Let, let's yeah. keep. By the way, Kelly Clarkson, we're tripping through her new album, Chemistry. All no right. reason to stream it. We're playing it all for you here today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a joke. Uh, okay. Don't so, do not support me okay, in any way. <laughs> okay, the last one was my mistake, right? Uh, this is yes. that's right. Oh, Sheila E. Does she play drums? Percussion, yeah. I love her. Oh my god, I love her. Sheila E. Of all people, we had actually okay, wait, performed together. Yeah, she's percussion on it, and she. I literally heard her. We had performed together a couple times. She's so cool, y'all. To like. The crew, the band, everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a solid stand-up human. Not everyone does that. Most people don't. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they come in, they do what they need to do, talk to you, and then leave. Like, right? So, which is fine. But she's just an incredible person, really still just loves what she does. Is the hardest working woman. Every time we text, I feel like she's touring. Um, and I literally asked her, I was like, I wrote this song, and I hear you on it. And I know, like, you're probably busy, but if you don't mind, like, How would cool. you play on it? And she did. God, I remember her when I was young. I mean, she's I, been around. I she's too. done like, some great things. Yeah, she. But and that's the thing too, though. She even like played like we last minute at this show we did in LA. Played. We were pl only playing the album. We told the fans like who came. Uh, we were only playing the album, but I surprised them with a couple of hits. She just was like, we were like, if you want to play on them with us, because she was the last song that we were playing from the album. We're doing like a couple of hits, and she was like, absolutely. She was just up there hanging with us, like having it. It's like why. Why she became a musician was still ever apparent. Well, you're jamming. You know? yeah, yeah, I mean, it's an old yeah. term. It's like I think we lose that sometimes. Yeah, you got to get back to that. Yeah. Even if you're not a musician, you, you got to jam with your friends and with your family, people yeah. that you love. Uh, High Road. Oh. When's the last time you listened to this whole album? Because uh, I'm playing these, these when songs. When I was mixing and mastering, probably, yeah. When I'm playing bits and pieces of this song, I can see in your eyes, Kelly, that you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that one, that one. Well, and y'all are just now hearing all the... So it's interesting for me. I've, just, I've never had an album this far in advance, and then finally people are hearing it. It's I've never experienced that before. It's, so to you, it's maybe a whole new, new album, than, different than it was when you first yeah, when you and mastered it, it. And it's, yeah, it's just kind of... Um, yeah, it's but it's beautiful because it's I'm at a different place, like I said. So it's beautiful to look at it. It's almost like a piece of art instead of like life. So right. much. Yeah. Well, I tell you. So chemistry is it. I'm not going to play all, all the cuts, but okay. we're going to we're going to play whatever you want to hear in a second. Okay. Uh, we're so excited that you're moving to New York. Me we too. have dinner. I'm buying. No okay. problem. Things okay. are good. Okay, you Money already took away the parks and the buildings, but it's fine. It's you okay. It's all right. You're limiting our date. It's like we're. It's like you're, it's our first date or something, and what you're like, you like, I'm not promising. Look, okay. it's coffee. I'm not giving you a plate with food on you it yet. What? You should do like, a picnic in the park. You know me. I'll be your old uh, gay Uncle Elvis <laughs> for a nice safe night out, martinis and cocktails. I like and it. I like uh, it. We're talking about 14 tracks on this album, and uh, and it's just in time for summer, which is. You know, there's a lot of things you're gonna be listening to this summer. Yeah, you gotta add this to your stream list. You I have think to. so. And I want to go back <laughs> to what you said about Sheila E. How you were like, oh, you know, she's so nice to people, whatever. Yeah. I always use you as that example because oh, last time you. you were here in the studio, you walked in and you found a positive thing about every person. You were like, oh my gosh, that color looks great on you. Wow, your hair color is so pretty, and you oh. made everyone feel so great. And I was like. Oh my gosh, that's the way to live your life. It was so special. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I do that, but I, my friends tell me I do that a lot. Yeah. Um, like when I walk in, uh, I don't maybe, know, I'm very observant and I'm also ADHD, so I like, I'm always <laughs> looking around and like, you know, observing, but um, yeah, I like making people feel good. Yeah. Well, you know what? New York yeah. could use some of that. Yeah. So thank you. We, you know what? Wait, wait, I got to stand up for New Yorkers here because this is, everybody <laughs> always talks about how mean people are busy no. or, or not caring or whatever. 
I, I mean, even when people don't know who I am, I'm in a hat, like nobody, people are so not, you just, cause look, at my, this is my thing. I, it was like a test with me and my manager, who's also from Texas. We'd be in LA and we'd wave in the car, you know, like you do in Texas, yep, you know yep. what I'm saying? You, you wave, wave to have people pass. Yeah. I swear to God in the years I live there, maybe one, and I'm just giving them that. I don't remember one, but maybe one. Everyone I pass here, because I make a point to be like, hi, like anytime I pass someone, I don't know why, I just do. Everyone says hi. And like, oh yeah. hi, and like and they and then they smile and you smile and it feels good. Yeah. And so, they do yeah. give you the right directions. People say, Oh, don't ask a New Yorker for directions. <laughs> That's crap. People give I think you the people right people are direction. real nice here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So with New York, you're coming to New York now and it's obviously very different. Do you think the yeah. show's gonna have any different undertones or be different than the one that you shot in LA? Um, I, yes. I mean, it'll have a different energy, just as city does. So I yeah. think I think that'll be a little different. You start cursing at people. Yeah. I, well, <laughs> here's I, that, this is my thing. I, I really want my show to be live, but I don't think they'll let me go live because of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Probably a good idea. So yeah, they're like, uh, that'd be a real hardcore boo button. I'll, like I just get, especially when I'm tired, it just comes out, just the trash in me. <laughs> like I love and, that. Yeah, Amen. So, but I, I I honestly, that is a thing. Like I was a huge fan of Rosie. O'Donnell and she did her show here and it was live so maybe like one day we work to live I think that'd be cool I think I could control myself you can do this yeah. well you know what we have here because we're live as we speak yeah. see this button here it says dump we have a dump button what does that mean so if you said let's say that you gotta go to the bathroom no, 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 <laughs> no. thank you you must be tired because you're getting trashy yeah no no if, if you said the f word yeah I'd be like oh Kelly let's push the dump button boom and it oh. rewinds our show back four seconds or something like that it goes back in time to before you were crass and evil. Y'all have figured out time travel. Yes, we have. This is incredible news. <laughs> it was figured out for people like you and me. Who oh my God. Say the yeah. for it every once in a while. I know, it feels good. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I, I love Gandhi's point about doing a live show here, or, or any kind of show in a, with an audience here, because I remember going to see David Letterman and going to see, yeah. uh, we go to see Fallon. On, we're on Fallon I remember sometimes. I was on Conan here, David the, Letterman here. The, the many, energy here is so different in it studio is. than it is. And you're going to you're gonna own it. Yeah, I'm it's excited. Um, We've right. opened the show twice here, though. So my whole show's been here for like the first week of two seasons. So, right. Yeah, it's been really So you good. got a taste of what it's going to be yeah, like. Yeah, y'all gave it. It was a good taste, obviously. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, uh, chemistry, I want, an, I want it in everyone's phone by the end of this conversation, or if not, by the end of the day. Or something bad will happen. Well, don't you like that email? If well, you don't... <laughs> well, how about this one? Forward no, it. Nothing good will happen until yeah. you do that. <laughs> that was more positive. I like it. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, but welcome welcome to New York officially. Thank even you. though, you, Yeah. Welcome yeah. to when, New York. When do you start production here? Well, uh, depending on strikes, uh, we're we're supposed oh, to start that. in September. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And crossing fingers. Yeah. See, that's the thing about us. Even though we do support writers, yeah, we, we <laughs> no one writes this crap. We yeah. just talk. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one lays claim to this. Every, <laughs> so, no, I, was like, I was like, everyone's shocked right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so chemistry is where it's at, and it just is so damn great to Thank see you. Thank you. Nice to see you too. Uh, dinner, buildings, whatever. Uh, okay, so I want you to make a request. Whatever you want to hear off the album, I'm going to play it right now. Uh, you know what? I like this one a lot, and it was the very first song I wrote for this album. It's called Down to You. Other than that one, what else? <laughs> okay, 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 we'll play it. So this is this is oh, Kelly Clark. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 did you, oh hold you on, hold on. Oh, don't do hit twice. Yeah. You just said the F word? <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> she said something. We, okay, say? Hold on, hold on. We just, I didn't say anything. Who said it? We just... <laughs> You know what? It doesn't matter because we caught it. It's all good. No, no, but, no but, it doesn't matter though because I didn't. Who did it? No, I mean, it wasn't you. No, no this isn't. Danielle. This isn't. I a, blame her. No, no. <laughs> By the way, this isn't a who farted situation. Yeah. This is, I don't know. What ha no, I, I missed I, it. Who, what did she say? Look, I no. It was an exhale. It was just an exhale. You probably didn't even hear it. And it, it was, was like breathy. kind of. It was halfway, and then I backed okay, out. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I was okay. like. Okay, if you just missed a few sentences, it's because yeah. someone said a bad word and we had to hit the Elvis, dub button. Like maybe You're so classless, Elvis. Your, your iPhone <laughs> might have corrected it to duck. Okay. Maybe. Okay. 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 Thank you. We caught it. All right. yeah. Did you see the quickness in what. which that cat fled over here yeah. to press dump? Here's, here's what you do. Next time you hear... I love it? that you had just told me what to do and then you epically <laughs> failed at doing it. <laughs> Thank you. So you need a dump button on your show when you come to New York. But you see, the dump button's close 
close enough. If you know you say the F word, just reach over and go, pardon me. I, uh, I just I love, too, that I was like, I could totally do it live without a... <laughs> right. Yeah, it's okay. This is great. No one at the network listens. You're fine. You're oh safe. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to play this song. Where were we? I'm going to play this song This song here. you hate, okay? I don't hate it. I just I was just being stupid. Wait, there's a okay. quick call, then you can go. I know you're, everyone wants to get out of here. Hello, Richard. Hi there, yes. How excited are you to see Kelly in Vegas? Because that's uh, that's your, your next step, yes, right? Yes, yes. At the Hard Rock, I do believe. I am. I'm going Back on theater. Saturday, uh, August 12th. I, I flew out from Buffalo to see her at Bellagio in L.A. Yeah. Um, I have her oh, lyrics boys. tattooed on my forearm. I'm, I'm a really, really big fan. So I've been a fan since she was on Idol, and Aww. I've seen her many times along the way, and I just think that She's just so inspiring, right? She's just like... Well, you know, she's right here. You're you're, you're talking to her. And you're making me feel really good, Richard. I hope you don't change your mind as a fan because it's tattooed, man. Oh, yeah. It's just to all my weeds and kept the flowers. I've come to your show a couple of times. I'm, you know, you're just... your, Your attitude about just being so like... I don't really care what other people think. It really is just so inspiring. And, you know, you 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 talk about it on this album and... Red Flag Collector is literally my favorite. Oh, you know, <laughs> that's one of my band's favorites. Too. Wow, yeah. look at that! So you've already Aww. heard the whole. Yeah, it just came music, out, so. and you've already heard the whole thing. Uh, thank you, oh, yeah, Richard. Well, I, yeah, so I put my set the fan with you all day. Love it. I'm mean, that's gonna be my next tattoo. Oh, well, Richard, can can we tell you a funny story? Then we got to play the song. You got to go. You got to yeah. leave at some point. Okay. They they're, they're waiting you for you down at some. You show don't want to go on a date. You're kicking me out. I get no, it. no. Okay. There, there's some show okay. with lesser ratings waiting for you. Hold on. Do you, do you want to tell Kelly what you told me earlier? Is wow. this like a private story? No, 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 no. It's fine. So my boyfriend was in the Navy for a very long time, went yeah. to Singapore, got hammered, got a tattoo, and it's in Chinese. He didn't even know what language it was on. It was, was in. It's huge, and it's on his forearm. And he was trying to figure out for a decade, he says, what it said. He had no idea. I asked someone, I took a picture of it, asked somebody what it was, and I told him, it's a Kelly Clarkson lyric. He said, what? I got a Kelly Clarkson lyric? What is it, Breakaway? Tell me what song it is. And I left him hanging for a long time. It's what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Or what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Do you want to hear a funny tattoo story about that song? Yeah. Um, oh, hold I on, have, Richard. We're telling funny tattoo stories. <laughs> I have I have okay. what doesn't kill you and, um, and, and like, Morse code or whatever. And, on like, and then um, I got um, pregnant. <laughs> no. And now it's, like, 3D. <laughs> <laughs> It's I like, it's like wait, a different wait. version of, I mean, it didn't kill me, but pregnancy almost did. But wait, but, but where is it? It's right here. So oh, it's next just, to your you know, you expa- No, it's like more where your diaphragm, and that's mm. the part that really expands. No one warned you that in the tattoo shop. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So it's, yeah, Texas is also 3D. She's down here. Wow. Nice. So, Kelly, didn't you get, yeah. Kelly, didn't you get one of your first tattoos here in Buffalo? I did get it in Buffalo. My very first. Okay, Richard. Uh, I got my my uh, no no my first. It was one of my. It was my second one. Uh, my uh, yeah. I got um. God, what was that one? Oh, it was this one. It was a little cross right here. Yeah. How many do you um, have? You meant I don't know. You mentioned like, the voice. Like oh. I'm in the teens. Really? Yeah, maybe what? like. 17. Oh, wow. a lot of great tattoo artists in New York. You've got, and yes, you've got yeah. plenty of real estate left. And we have <laughs> access yeah. to people who will help you out anytime. Richard, okay. Richard, we got to run. Thank you so much. Say goodbye to Kelly. Bye, Richard. Bye, Kelly. I'll see you in Vegas. Okay, bye. <laughs> see, I, I had a tat. If I had a tattoo on my like my breast, like yeah. the tattoo of Texas, at this point, with gravity doing, it, it, it oh. would be like Florida, like dangling. Yeah. <laughs> or like Italy. Yeah. yeah. It would become the boot, like yeah. Italy. Exactly. It's like, oh, my dangling tit. <laughs> anyway, we got to play this song. All stages of life are important, Elvis. Yeah. I know. Gravity changes Built everything. character. <laughs> uh, so great having you in here. No, ditto. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And uh, anytime you want to come sit at the table, Kelly Clarkson always has a seat at this table. Well, thank you. And we're going to play the song that you requested. And we okay. never, it, by, by the way, that's a falsehood. We never play your request when you call in. <laughs> Don't a, tell the magic. It, it's a computer in Burbank. It's, the radio oh, man. Oh my God, I love you so, so much let's right be honest. now. Let's be honest. You have no sway here. No, 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 no. I, but you do. So I'm going to play the song. It, from Chemistry. It, wouldn't it be funny if it looked like you were playing it for me, but out there it's another song. Right. It's like oh, Justin Bieber. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's playing the weekend over there. Yeah. Uh, all right. Totally no, playing. No, everyone's song. gonna hear this. Okay. And you're gonna like it. You're gonna love it. This is from Chemistry, Kelly Clarkson, Yay! and down to you. Yay! Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Bye, y'all. The Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge.